Okay. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst from Highland Hill Farm. I'm here, I'm in charge of growing the plants at Highland Hill Farm. And today I'm going to discuss to you how to fertilize the arborvitae. First off, before we do any fertilizer, we, we have to identify what kind of plant this is. And just with about all arborvitaes, they are considered to be an indeterminate plant. An indeterminate plant means that it can grow any amount of growth it can sustain in this growing season based on the environmental conditions that it is in. For example, if it's in a drought, it won't grow as much as if it was raining about once every week. Uh, when we start fertilizing, we use something called Osmocote, which is this stuff right here. This is a pelletized slow-release fertilizer, and our concentrate is 17, 17, 17. When we apply the fertilizer, we just dump it into our hands, kind of just like this, and we go over and we just do a light application just to the surface of the plant, just kind of like that. We don't need to put a lot on because it'll, there's enough in here for the plant to survive, and we just spread it around just like that. Not a lot. If you put too much on there, you risk burning the roots with salt burn, and or a lot of times it just leaches, leaches away and ends waste product. Uh, with fertilizing plants, it is important for greenery and for growth, but predominantly the number one factor that, that plants have for growth is the amount of water, either too much or too low. So fertilizer is a good start, but watering is much more important. If you have any other questions, please contact us at 215-651-8329. Do you need a deer resistant windbreak or barrier that's going to help you save energy by cutting winter heating costs? Well, arborvitaes, cypresses, and cryptomerias may be part of your solution. Many arborvitaes are really eaten hard by deer. That variety is usually called the American arborvita or one of the cultivars known as the emerald green. And they do get eaten very badly. But some cultivars don't get eaten as much, and this is one of them. It's a, it's a cultivar called a green giant arborvita. It's a very fast grower, and the deer don't like it because it has a bitter taste. But the same thing happens with the Leland cypress. It's a fast-growing cypress, and it is deer-resistant. Another one is the cryptomeria. This is cryptomeria yoshino. It offers very good deer resistance. Now these plants are really good for windbreaks and barriers because they grow exceptionally fast. They can grow three feet a year. And again, we have different varieties. This is a green giant. Now this is another type. This is called the Western Red Cedar Zebrina. So as you can see, we grow quite a few of them. These are just a small batch of what we grow here at Highland Hill Farm. And of course we have the, the deer ravaged and really eaten hard, the, the emerald green. And we grow thousands of them, so you know we're not going to run out of stock here. And this is Bill. He's our irrigation expert. How's it going today, Bill? Just checking things out. Okay. Everything in this nursery is under drip irrigation, and when we install a windbreak or a hedge for you, we always put in this if there's enough trees in the order to warrant it. You can't water 50 trees at a time with a garden hose. It just doesn't work. And the survival rate increases dramatically when you use this drip irrigation line. So we include that in most of our jobs for free because we want to make sure the trees grow for you. And as you can see, we have quite a few thousands of trees here at Highland Hill Farm. And uh, we ship them all up and down the East Coast. And on this particular farm in Fountainville, we have about 22 acres. And as you can see, all the trees are very nice and uniform. We try and have a uniform product for people. And these are some larger green giants in pots. I don't recommend them, but some people want them because they're easier to plant. We, we prefer to sell a bald and burlap product for the green giant if it's like over three, four, five feet. These three foot green giants in here are, are easy to plant, and that's a good selection. But when you get a little bit larger, you should go to the bald and burlap. These are white pines, another fast growing cultivar for windbreaks and hedges, but the problem with white pine is it can be eaten by deer, and you can see the lower branches are sort of deer ravaged here at Highland Hill Farm, because we have thousands of deer around here. This is a, in an area where there's a big park, 
and the park has a lot of deer. This is some of our equipment that we deliver with. And uh, on this truck over here, this is getting ready to go out. This a truck going out to do a planting. Sometimes we take one or two MT55s and MT52s with us to do the planting. Over here we have some of our digging equipment for on this farm. This is an S5, S250 Bobcat. And behind it we have our big tree spade. And this is what we use to dig big tree balls with. We also raise a lot of real large uh, eastern red cedars as long as well as the larger green giants. This is a it shows a little bit of deer damage on it, but not too bad. Grown in this area here, right, right within about a mile of this particular farm. In this area here, we have a couple hundred acres, and in Bradford County, we have a couple thousand. And we ship all up and down the East Coast, from North Carolina up to Boston. These are uh, a fast-growing, deer-resistant tree. This is the uh, Norway spruce. So give us a call at 215. 651-8329 and get started with saving money with a windbreak and a barrier.